What's up guys, I hope that you are doing well. This is a part four of this free mini course on SMMA. And let me just put it uh, in full screen as always. So this part will be uh, on how to close a social media marketing agency client, uh, a retainer client, of course. And you know, we are going to see the lifetime value of a customer, what the most important when closing a deal. And so, yeah, this video, as always, is going to be very valuable. I'm sharing informations that are not shared, you know, on YouTube for free. And that's because I want to help uh, as much, uh, you know, as much people as possible to start their own business, to start their own agency. And I know that sometimes, you know, the budget uh, <laughs> is, uh, is tight and need to be invested in your business. So that's why I'm doing this free mini course to push people to start their own agency. So this is a part four. So in our sales process, we made the call, you know, we got uh, the lead. It could be, you know, through call calling, through LinkedIn, through um, emails, you know, anything through Facebook. I showed you mostly uh, call calling, but I will do other videos where I'm going to show you how to do how to do it on LinkedIn, right? How to do it on e by emails, how to generate leads, uh, you know, through Facebook, because each one of them will be just weapon in your arsenal, and you should never rely just on one flow, right? So uh, when you are, you know, we call the client, we got the lead, we run the first meeting, we um, also presented a solution. So now it's the time to close the client to pay us. And I don't have a lot of place, so I'm just going to cut the video. So guys, again, how you price your service is related to return over investment. So the first thing I want to uh, talk with you guys is uh, how you price your service, because that's, that is going to be a very, very important part in uh, closing the deal, right? How much is your pricing? As I told you, in the first meeting, we were much more emotional and now we want to be very logical in, uh, you know, in uh, the closing part. The closing part is just logic and that's why we want to know exactly how much we are pricing our service and it must be logical. And how we are going to make this logical for our client, we are going to base everything, all our foundation will be on return over investment. So the first thing that I want to show you is to understand the lifetime value of a customer. So, you know, when we sign a client and we get clients for them, uh, they will go through this process. So exposure, they will see our ads, they will see, you know, our offer, Discovery, so discovery might be they are going to our landing page. It's a, just a few, uh, the first few visits of the website. So they are just discovering the brand, uh, the offer, what we have to offer. And as you can see, this is a funnel. So next we have consideration. So they went to the landing page, they quit the website and we did a retargeting ads, for example, and they came back to the website and they opt in, for example. So now they have consideration. They opt in for the offer. The conversion part is uh, simply that uh, they went uh, through the door of uh, our client. So that's amazing. And they become client. So now what do we have? We have the relationship, the customer relationship and the retention because one client will not stay uh, you know, a couple of months. One client can stay for uh, multiple years in case of a restaurant. In a gym, it's much more uh, you know, one to two years, but the retention part is very important when we are closing a deal and we always need to explain this to our clients that you know, we are, I'm going to, ex to explain you this more in details right now. It's going to be uh, more clear. So here is what we are going to explain to our client, the lifetime value of a customer. And you know, it's LTV, you might also see it as CLTV, customer lifetime value. And the customer lifetime value, we're going to explain this to our client, is equal to how much one customer is worth uh, times the purchase frequency per year times the retention. So 
this is in theory and I'm going to show you how to show it to your client with a calculator. The first one is for a restaurant, right? So I'm going to take off everything here. So let's go. All we have to do is to show this to our client, to our restaurant client, in the case if your niche is a restaurant, and we are going to tell them, okay, how does your average customer spend per person and per visit? And let's say that each customer is spending $50, you know? Then how many visits will a customer reasonably make per year? So let's say that uh, you know, your clients have those numbers and it's important that uh, they have it. And let's say that they tell us that, uh, you know, one customer usually comes uh, once every two months or five times per year, something like this. So we are going to put five here. Uh, what is your typical party size? So do you have, you know, uh, is, is it big? Do you have a big restaurant, a big place? Usually you can just put it, put one here. And finally, you know, we just have here the customer value per year. But uh, for a restaurant, the customer lifetime value is calculated on a seven year cycle. So you are actually bringing them uh, 1,750 when you are bringing them one customer. You're not bringing them $250 and your clients need to understand it because that's how you are going to price your service now. Let's make the same uh, reasoning for a gym client. And, you know, for a gym client, it's much more easier. Uh, I was working with a, a gym client and each one of his clients were paying about six, uh, you know, it was about $50 per uh, month. So it was $600 per year, right? And they were staying between, you know, nine months to a year. So we were, we were always putting like one year. Uh, we were not putting uh, in consideration the customer acquisition cost. I'm going to tell you exactly why. We calculate, uh, okay, so this, we will just put $1, you know. So we were about 600, you know, $600 per, um, per year. So that was the customer lifetime value, the lifetime value of a customer. But if you know, if you have like two years, this will be different and you need to know those numbers with your clients and you might even calculate this in front of your clients. So let's get back to, uh, to our course. Um, so yeah, it's very important to know the customer lifetime value of uh, your clients because this is going to help us to price our service. Now, how to price our service, guys? It will depend on how much clients you think you can bring them each month. So let's take the gym client as an example. It was 600 per year. That was our customer lifetime value, right? So let's say that we are thinking that we can bring at least one client per week for our clients, which is, um, you know, 600 times four. So we are actually bringing uh, $2,400 per month for our clients. You know, you need to know the numbers and you need to uh, see the numbers with your clients. If I bring you 10 leads, you know, if 10 leads go through the door, how much can you close? Like how much are you closing? How much is your closing rate, right? You need to, to know uh, those numbers. It's very important. And these numbers right here is your value, right? So how much will you bring per month? How much results you will get to your clients? And your price is based on this value. So your price will be actually your value divided by two. So why I'm dividing by two? Because I want always uh, my clients to have a return of investment that is positive, that is at, at least uh, times two. And this is without considering all the referrals. You know, if you are getting four clients uh, for your clients, uh, those four people will have friends right they have family they have uh they have you know they know a lot of people so they can bring you know one or two friends and we are not including this in our pricing so here you know if i divide by two i would be at one thousand two hundred dollars and that's that is equal to my service fee plus the ad spend so i could say to my clients look 
my service fee will be $800 per month and the ad spend that we are going to spend to get those results will be $400 per month, right? And it's, it makes much more sense, guys. It's very logical. You're, you will bring them uh, more money than you are taking and you need to show your client how much money he's currently losing by not working with you. That's very important if you want to close them. So you need to say to them, look, by not working with me, you're let, letting like thousands of dollars every month uh, on the table. And you know, it's just, it's a no brainer because we will make them much more money than what they are paying you. And so that's how we are pricing our service. Now let's get on some closing strategies that I have for you guys. So, so the first one uh, is actually, it's not about being able to handle all the objections on herd. So, you know, when I was starting uh, my agency, I just wanted to remember all objections uh, without understanding where those objections came from. So I was trying, you know, to handle the, oh, it's too much money, it's uh, blah, blah, you know, all the objections. But the most important, in my opinion, is really to build trust and how to build trust by really showing your expertise, to build a relationship with your clients, to understand his needs, his problems, his situation, where he wants to be, what's, what's his goal and what's blocking him towards getting here and what's his motivation behind this goal. And finally, one also very important is uh, that the, the client is qualified to do business with me and I'm qualified to do business with my client. I want the relationship to be win-win and you know, I want you guys to think in terms of abundance when you have so many clients that you can onboard, take the one that you want to onboard. Like if it, if it doesn't make sense to you to onboard the clients because you know it's just a small place and they don't have budget, like don't lower your price and take them as a client. I want you to have uh, a mindset of abundance that there are a lot of clients out there that are interested by your service. And so, you know, it's very important that you want to work with them and they appreciate your solution, they understand it, and they understand how it can help them uh, get to their objective faster. So, you know, if you get all of those steps right, if you, if you build a custom solution, like, you know, a, cust a solution, it must even not be custom, but a solution that really answer to the needs, the problems of uh, your clients, and this solution is win-win. You, uh, you explain to uh, your client that you're going to make him a lot, a bunch more money than, you're, than what you are taking. Then all you have to ask in order to close the deal is do you want to work with me? And that's it, you know? So it's not about getting all the objection, you know, about learning how to handle all the objections on earth. It's just about having those steps um, done correctly. And if you know, if you are getting to the closing part and you're saying, okay, so let's start, do you want to work with me? And you're getting, um, you know, you're getting an objection like, oh, the price is too high. It's because you didn't get one of the steps done. It's because you didn't maybe understand the, the real problems of your clients or didn't explain this uh, as you should explain it. So take, take the time to explain this. And yeah, guys, I hope it's helpful. I, th I hope uh, it can help some of you. And in the next video, we are going to see how to onboard a client. So how to, you know, to sign a contract, how to get payments, how to set up the business manager on Facebook to get results for your clients. So uh, I hope that you liked. If yes, uh, give me a thumbs up on this video and comment if you have any thoughts about it. And if you would like me to do another video about anything that you guys uh, would want. And again, if you have any questions, just DM me on Instagram and I would be glad to answer you.